Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next uh, video on our programming language. In this video, I'll be talking about uh, dates and timestamps. Actually, the R has got multiple built-in functions that can handle dates and times in their creation, conversion, extraction, and calculation. There are also a package available like LubriDate, which can be used to manipulate and work with the times and dates right so in this video we'll be talking about only the function which are uh, only related to the date and timestamps for this video i've already have prepared some content here so let's get started in addition to it i've already have opened up two important links which i'll be talking about in a while so let's see uh, what are the uh, what are different functions available under the date and timestamps so very first point is you should know that there are three basic date and time classes available in r which are date POSIX CT and POSIX LT. So what is POSIX here? POSIX stands for Portable Operating System Interface, which is a standard. CT stands for Calendar Time. LT stands for Local Time. So the uh, the first class, which is the date class, handles the dates without time. It means there will be no time component available in this case. Date and POSIX CT are internally stored as number of days and seconds from the January 1st, 1970. It will be uh, taking care of the uh, time or seconds which has been elapsed since January 1st 1970 that's why I've opened up this converter it is epoch and unix timestamp conversion in which it means this is the uh, this is the time this is that like timestamp which is got passed by since 1970 January 1st and it is continuously uh, you can see it's continuously working 410 uh, 411 and all right this is the meaning of uh, post uh, this one like epoch or unix epoch it's the January 1st, 1970. So the POSIX LT stores date and times as a list of components which are second, minute, hour, day, month, year, time and zone, etc. And the POSIX CT which is calendar time and POSIX LT local time represent dates and times while date only represent date. There's no time component available. Let's now discuss these points with the help of some examples. Okay. I've already have opened up this R console. Let's see. Uh, what it means first of all uh, i'll be putting the system time into the one one variable we can say now you can see sys dot time function is the first function we have under the time uh, under this date and time right so in this case you can see it's my current time and uh, date got printed here right this is called sys dot time function now what i'll be doing uh, uh, i'll be uh, now making use of uh, this one uh, i'm i'm just converting this into the POSIX CT. You, that's why I'm using as.posixct. So this now, uh, th whatever the content available under now, it will be converted to POSIX CT data type. So let's now, let's see what will be the answer. In this case, I'm changing it to this. So if I'm printing date time one, let's see the answer. It will be in this format, right? In the same way, if I can go with the unclassed date time one, I've already have discussed that POSIX CT are nothing but the, uh, which is taking care of the January 1st, 1970 concept. Let's see uh, whether it is true or not. I'm just going with this unclass date time one. You can see it is the same uh, time timer which is we are getting in the R console right now. You can see it here, right? So it is, is it's keep on going in. That's why it is not e equally true. Like if I can, uh, but it's the same time uh, which we are getting since January 1st, 1970. Unclass meaning is now we can see what is happening behind the scenes, right? means how the things got stored in this case. It is in the form of Unix epoch, right? All right, this is the meaning of the first one. Let's now move further. Next one is, uh, again, I'm going with the second one in which uh, I'm converting it to the POSIX LT. As per definition, POSIX LT will convert, will be storing the results in the form of these components. So here you'll not be getting the result in Unix uh, thing. It will be in the uh, these components. Now let's see uh, date time two. You can see this is the one and but if I can uh, unclass this, I'll be getting the components, everything, right? Uh, seconds, minutes, hours, mon uh, the month, day, month and all, everything will be uh, presented here, right? This is the meaning of POSIX LT and POSIX CT respectively. Moving further, how we can convert dates and times, we already have converted here with the AS dot keyword. In the same way, we can have the AS dot date, uh, then we have a function available, STRP time available as well. Let's see, again, I'm showing you one more example in which I'm having a date string available uh, in the form of uh, the time as well as the date. 
this is the date string let's convert it into uh, all these three formats these three classes as.date as.post6ct as.post6lt this is the thing you can see it here date is not considering time while uh, post6ct post6lt considering time as well right this is how we can convert the things into date and time now what are the different input formats available uh, there are uh, multiple input formats available but the default input formats are this one year hyphen month hyphen day space r have uh, uh, r colon minutes colon seconds or year forward slash month forward slash day space r uh, colon minutes colon second this is the default format if you want to know all the formats you can simply call this it is uh, it you'll get uh, get to know what are different formats different uh, uh, stuff available under this so in this uh, case we all know that when we put anything uh, in front as a question mark it will be kind of a help if I, if I click enter here, you can see all the things will be shown here. All the formats, have a look. All the, all the abbreviations, everything will be shown here. Right, whatever you want to use. Right, let's suppose if you want to use weekday, you have to use this W. If you want to use a week of the year, you have to use a capital W in this way. Right, so we are having multiple input formats available, which I've also have listed here as well. This is abbreviated uh, stuff available. Let's see. Let's make use of these uh, little things as uh, some examples here. So in this case, what I'm doing, I'm just converting this into the format. I'm specifying uh, D, B, Y. D meaning is day of the month. I'm just mapping here. B meaning is, you can see it here, abbreviated month name, which is equivalent of Jan. And Y, capital Y means year with century. So let's see uh, whether uh, I'm able to get the result in the default input format or not of the R. So I'm just uh, going with this. I got the result, right? Because as dot date meaning is it will be converting the these this for, this into the suitable uh, R format without time, right? This is called as dot date. Let's move further. If I can go with the post six CT in which we have also specifying the keyword format, it's optional. Here we are not using format keyword. Here we are also giving the R minutes and seconds as well. So we are just mapping with the this this format, right? D equivalent of fourteen, B equivalent of Jan. Y equivalent of 2019 and H correspond to 14, M 17, S 30, right? So let's see, it will be converting uh, this into the suitable format which the R understand. This is the suitable format. In the same way, we can go with the post 6 LT as well. So I've already have told you there are two uh, uh, default formats. We are getting in this format as per the documentation. You can see it here. It will be year hyphen month hyphen day space r colon minutes colon seconds or year forward slash month forward slash day space r colon minutes comma uh, colon seconds last example we can take it here so here in this case i'm again making use of as dot date function and in this case we are giving it this format right so i got the answer in the suitable r format right this is how we can make use of this input formats moving further we have a now function available strp time strp time function converts the characters into the post 6 lt date time objects let's take one example this is the like sample example we are taking in which we are uh, specifying two attributes first attribute is is the uh, characters uh, uh, this one 14 jan 2019 and it will uh, here we are specifying some format available so let's see uh, whether we are able to get the results or not so we got the results so strp time actually working almost in the same similar fashion as we seen in the previous examples it's just the uh, function available through which uh, we can uh, simply convert the character into the post 6 lt date time objects so let's see uh, let's talk about the lubridate functions lubridate functions also provide us uh, some new ways to convert characters to the date and times for this we need to load the library lubridate in case if you don't have a package available you need to install it first as well in your R. So I'm already having this lubridate available. So uh, this is working uh, perfectly fine, right? So let's see uh, what are the different uh, ways available through which we can use this. We have a first little function available YMD year month date and we have specified it in a year forward slash uh, month forward slash 14 means date. So in this case, it will be converting this, to a, this into a suitable R format, which R supports. You can see I got the result in a proper format, which R supports. In the same way, we can uh, go with the DMY means uh, date, month, year. So it will be uh, giving you the result in a same similar fashion, no change at all. In the same way, we can go further. We have HM available, hours, minutes, minutes, second, HMS, right, which parses the periods with the R, minute, and second components. Let's see, this is the HMS uh, example, 
r minute second right look at here so i got this 14 r 17 minutes 30 seconds so this is got uh, converted into the suitable format next is converting from unix timestamp i've already told you that unix timestamp i've already shown you that unix converter right it is nothing but a number of seconds that has been elapsed since 19 so uh, since uh, january 1st 1970 as per this documentation guide also from this Berkeley page, you can see it here. There are two post 6 date time classes which differ in a way the values are stored internally. The post 6 CT class stores the date time as the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970, while the post 6 LT stores, the, uh, stores them as a list with the elements for second, minutes, hour, day, month. We already have seen that. Unless you uh, need the uh, list nature of the post 6 LT class, the post 6 CT is a usual choice. It means by default we make use of post 6 ct as the class right in the case of date and dates and time in this case what we are doing we are just converting this into a uh, converting from the unix timestamp let's suppose this is a kind of timestamp available as a vector i'm putting in a date variable so this is the uh, simple uh, timestamps we can consider one two three four five six so in this case what we'll be doing we'll be uh, converting this into a post 6 ct uh, a thing it means it will be giving it will be uh, giving us the uh, exact uh, days or exact uh, time which has been elapsed since that it's the timing right it will be converting into a date format so in this case i'm giving here uh, as the date uh, plus i'm also giving the origin means since this time how much time has been elapsed okay it will be returned to us you can see it here based upon uh, this this is equivalent of this date right along with the time uh, based upon this, this is equivalent of this date. It means uh, like uh, this 2008, it means this is almost equivalent of 38 years, okay, since uh, this uh, 1970. So this is correspond to that, right? So, uh, so they're just subtracting it from this, okay? First of all, they're converting, they're just uh, like uh, checking it out with respect to the 1970, then with respect to uh, uh, it, it will giving us the result, all right? This is the meaning, right? This is uh, how we can uh, get the uh, can work from a Unix timestamp, right? So uh, we are taking a reference as 1st January 1970. Now, how we can convert a date time to date? Again, uh, we are having this uh, available date time as I'm just putting it in a, a sys dot time into date time variable, right? So let's now make use of, uh, let's see the class first. The class will be post 6 CT and post 6 LT both. Yes, let's see it here. Now let's convert this into a date. For this, we are having the as dot date available that we already have made use of it now the class will be changed if i'm making use of this the class will be changed now so let's see the class of date it will be date itself so we got a different class available so we have converted the date time to date let's see uh, how we can convert back to numeric so in this case we have as dot numeric available uh, we are just putting the system time into as dot numeric so this is the uh, we again got the things back into the numerics right moving further how we can uh, create the sequences let's suppose i need to generate some sequences like the way we are, we were generating the numbers like with the help of rep or some some functions we used to generate some sequence of numbers in the same way we are giving the uh, opening date starting date ending date and we want that it should be separated by month right let's see in this case we are using sequence function available from in the r so it will giving it is giving us the month wise like the first month second month third fourth fifth sixth it means separator will be the month in the same way we can also create uh, the sequence with respect to week as well and other other stuff as well other uh, options are still available all right you can see a uh, first and then we are having you can just see the dates it is 14 21 means one week seven days got added here in every uh, number right this is the point moving further uh, next one is how we can extract date and time components, right? So in this case, uh, we are just now uh, putting this sys.time into this now variable, right? So we are putting it here and we are converting it into the post 6 LT one uh, into post 6 dot LT uh, class. Now let's see uh, how we can extract. So I'm extracting year, weekday and zone. Okay, based upon it. Let's see. So the zone is Indian, stand, Indian, Indian standard time, right? Weekday, W day and year is all got extracted from here, right? Because now is currently having this. So based upon this, this is got returned. All right. This is the point. 
So we have extracted the things here. Moving further, then we have the uh, STRP time available still. We can also like uh, extract uh, like this syntax as well. In this case, we are extracting year. Let's see. So I'm just want to print year. So 119. Okay. It is considering this actually, this one. All right. Uh, then we are having this one, M day, month day. Let's see. I'm again going with the, this 14th. Okay. 14th. This one, okay, first 14. All right, so 123 actually is equivalent of 2023 and 199 is, is equivalent to 2019. In this way, its results are coming, right? It's the system generated results. Next, we have a diff time means if you want to find difference between two times, we have the diff time available. So let's do it. We have a two times available. We have X and Y available right so let's now try to find the difference between the uh, these uh, dates right it can be done with the help of diff time diff time x comma y so time difference is 30.8384 uh, this can be done with this as well x minus y both are both will give you same results it's called diff time last one is uh, we are having the concept of zones available right so in this case, uh, we are making use of uh, TZ means time zone, right? We are making use of this uh, TZ means it's a time zone, how, how we can work with the time zone. So here we are getting the, I'm just uh, putting one example here. So in this case, uh, I'm taking a one variable as a X and let's also make use of the with TZ function. It is working with the time zone. So let's see what will be the result. So in this case, we uh, as we have defined that uh, the time zone should be of America or New York. So it is giving like as the EST based upon it, right? Whatever the time based upon it, it is the it is the time we have specified, and this is the time as per US New York. Okay, it actually has converted this into a US time, right? So this marks the end of this video. I hope uh, the things got clear. Whatever we have done in this video, we talked about timestamps. We talked about the classes of date and time, right? And other functions as well. In case something is not clear, please do comment on this video. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.